ang ano ko sa mga kababayan ko, baka na minamaliit ninyo yung problema at contact kayo ng contact and suddenly sabay-sabay itong puputok then we will have a problem. Talagang problema ito. So, whether or not it is severe or it is just a minor uh, uh, maybe not as really as uh, serious as the other uh, medical crisis known. Uh, we are put on notice that uh, it is really uh, dangerous uh, for now. There's danger. So, kayo, if you want to touch the waters, and end up uh, getting sick, uh, well, kasi ang sinasabi namin, huwag kayong uh, maglumabas muna ng bahay. I understand that the workers uh, who are working in Manila or outside in Manila, residing outside but working inside, just the same, you continue to spread the disease by saliva, contact, and everything. So, kung hindi kayo magtulong, uh, medyo mahirapan tayo dito pagka baka sabay-sabay puputok to. The problem is really uh, economy. Yung sanang mga malalaking enterprises dito, Maybe you can consider uh, paying the 30-month pay or just paying them. Baski kalahati sa sweldo nila kung walang trabaho. As a way of showing your solidarity to the Filipino at this uh, uh, critical time. Or food. Ito namang food, uh, Si Rudy uh, will have to go around uh, yung mga ano siguro road uh, and you know, utilize all vehicles of government available uh, you just go around and uh, maybe asking if uh, there is somebody starving or in need of food what I would like to assure you, ang ano dito is uh, saan kami kukuha ng pagkain pag hindi kami lumalabas. Now, it behooves upon the barangay captain. Ito mga barangay captain, makinig kayo. This is a mandatory duty. It does not have to have a law because the proclamation itself suggests that there is really a need for you to work with government. And if you violate this, then you can be liable for the reduction of duty or other uh, regulatory measures uh, which you are supposed to do. And do not do it, and then you violate it. Uh, the barangay captain should uh, call a number and uh, at least for uh, rice and some uh, ano, um, ulam uh, pwede ninyong ibigay uh, sana uh, para sa ating mga kababayan. Now, I have been assured by Ramon Ang mismo of San Miguel and the other food conglomerates that there will be sufficient food, that uh, there will be no hunger in the coming weeks uh, because we have enough supplies. Uh, I was assured in a text, I forgot, forgot, sino yung my text? Said ko. Ah, nandiyan sa iyo. Uh, bong, pakibasa mo na bong. I would like to 
pasca senator go to read the statement of uh, Ramona. And I'd like to mention uh, the big companies. Yung malaala ko lang. Uh, we have, have our rub, uh, our, our uh, I know that uh, meron tayong undercurrent, but uh, that is not uh, a personal one for you and for me, but it's one for the people. It was an issue of uh, 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 people's interest. But I'd like to address uh, yung mga mayayaman. Like for example, uh, well, ikaw, uh, Nidlina and uh, uh, the Ayalas and Sela Cuson sa uh, itong mga big companies, Robinsons, you might uh, be able really to alleviate the situation by just understanding also the plight of the workers who are not working now and uh, uh, locally uh, are not uh, really any people in any in any position to to demand but uh, I said kayo na lang umiintindi and uh, if you uh, try to help uh, kindly uh, tumulong na lang kayo I will uh, designate somebody uh, after this meeting because there will be changes uh, in the structure. Hindi naman nagbago. Hindi, hindi yung structure lang ng discourse. Uh, so, with that, uh, may I be allowed to just uh, read my speech or my my talk with the, with, with the people of the Republic of the Philippines. My dear countrymen, as of 9 p.m. today, the confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines has risen to 140, with a death toll of two. Still low, it is a figure that is rising day by day beyond our borders and the whole world has been shaken by the spread of this disease. At first, it was China and the East Asian region which is still in the midst of a crisis as we speak. But now, according to the World Health Organization, the epicenter has shifted to you. Wala rin tayong magawa. Alam mo, we want to do business, we want to make money, we want to move, but there is no uh, interaction now, and there is no trade to speak of, and there are no flights going out in and for you to do business. In other words, if you go there, you are alone. And uh, please understand that we are talking to you honestly and in good faith. To address this crisis, I place the entire country under a state of public health emergency. And that is why uh, mayors now can uh, go ahead and issue ordin not really ordinances but uh, ex executive orders to make uh, the, the environment of their municipality more conducive to a healing process. Hindi mo na kailangan ng mag-convene ka pa ng government, uh, city council, because uh, with this uh, public health emergency, you can, as the mayor responsible to execute the laws of the land, the, ordan the ordinance plus the, uh, the laws of uh, the national government. So, hindi mo na kailangan dito na Mag, ano pa, mag, uh, hingi pa kayo, maghintay pa kayo ng, because I've, uh, uh, I've read somewhere, or maybe I've heard it in, over the ra uh, TV, radio, na yung ibang munisipyo naghihintay pa. With this uh, emergency, hindi na po kailangan 
just go ahead and the mayor will do it for us para walang uh, let me get to para wala masyadong rocos walang debate isa lang one line lang ngayon mayor lang muna and he can come up with any measure to protect public health public interest public order public safety and uh, whatever is needed to make life more uh, livable in your place I'm gonna hear you singing